Okay, so what are we doing today, Brian? We are going to Tavira to check out that little town. That's right, we're riding the train. First, we have to walk to the train station, which is just about a mile away. So, yee-haw. Yay! <laughs> So here we are at Tavira, ready to go exploring. And this is this is what it looks like when you first get here. There's a map and everything. At this point in our walk, when Sandra announced, this is a cute town. camera at eye level here so you can see exactly how steep this staircase is.
So that there is something called Camera Obscura, which was closed for maintenance. Apparently she's taking a break while I get some footage because, you know, I'm at 7,500 steps for the day, which means she's got to be at about 8,500. And there was hills and stairs, right? Hills, lots of, lots hills, hills and stairs. Yes, lots of hills. I don't know if they're oranges. I they they look to me like oranges. The benefits of being right across the street from the fire station. That one of the cool things here in Portugal, pretty much everywhere we go. You don't have to go too far between places where you can sit down and take a break for a few minutes. Apparently the edge of town. That's the motorway up there. And a little green space. And the city we've been exploring. Look, another little square. I know, it's weird. It's almost as though they value being able to just take a break and chill out. An entirely different lifestyle. I'm a, I'm a big fan. It is a cute little block. And then we got back to the train station earlier than we'd originally thought. We've, we've walked about as much as we want to walk. Well, we might want to go over there. We'll see. Stay tuned. Tavira. And what did we learn today? We learned that uh, seven hours in a town is too long to walk. <laughs> right? You, you see so many interesting things that they actually kind of stop being interesting at a certain point. We also learned uh, book one-way tickets and get your return when you decide to return. And apparently here in Portugal you can just get on whatever train you want and when the conductor comes around you tell him where you're going, give him the money and it's all cool. So, you know, we learned a lot today.